you know that Butterfree was originally Venonat's evolution and Metapod was supposed to evolve into Venomoth? Well, the reason they did this goes all the way back to the anime. Many don't know this, but Pokemon games, shows, and the trading cards were all planned out ahead, even though the game made the first appearance. The show's creator wanted Ash's second Pokemon to be Caterpie, but they felt that they could do little with Venomoth as Caterpie's eventual evolution. Since Butterfree would be easier for children to get attached to, and they made the right choice because kids love Butterfree. You guys remember Messino, the infamous mystery Pokemon? Well, do you know if you catch and then train him, he evolved into a Kangaskhan. This led many to believe that he was planned to be a baby form of Kangaskhan, but was taken out. Did you know that Arcanite was originally supposed to be a legendary Pokemon? In fact, in the early days, the Pokedex even goes as far to call it a legendary Pokemon. When the first legendary trios was originally crafted, it was decided that Articuno, Zapdos, and Arcanite would be the three to represent ice, lightning, and fire. None of the three were given names back that point. Nintendo feared the idea of confusing gamers with two birds and one groundwalker, so they decided to replace Arcanite with another bird. Therefore, Moltres became a part of the legendary trio, and Arcanine became one of the strongest non-legendary Pokemon of the first generation. Since we are in the topic of legendary bird, did you know that the bird's name ends with 1, 2, 3 in Spanish? Such as Arctic Uno, Zapdos, Moltres, and did you also know that the name Hitman Lee is the fusion of Hitman and Bruce Lee, and Hitman Chan is the fusion of Hitman and Jackie Chan? Did you know in the end of the first episode of the Pokemon anime, Ash sees a Ho-Oh even though Pokemon Gold and Pokemon Silver didn't even come out yet? This led many to believe that the creators of Pokemon have created the future Pokemon in advance and are releasing them in groups to create more Pokemon games. Did you know in the Pokemon episode 35 titled The Legend of Dratini got banned in the US because too many guns were shown in that episode? This is the same episode where Ash catches a bunch of Tauros in the Safari. Did you know that Brock also catches a Tauros but is never mentioned ever again? Well, that's all for today and I'll be back with another episode soon, so subscribe and stay tuned.